equality of complex numbers. So the next thing I say is going to be super obvious. If we've got two complex numbers, z and w, so it's a plus bi and c plus di, they will be equal, z will be equal to w if a equals c and b equals d. In other words, if two complex numbers look the same, they are the same. Super obvious, but uh, we could probably do some like fancy maths with that. All right, so if we've got a question like this, uh, 3 plus 4i times x plus yi equals 29 plus 22i, um, we can solve it for x and y. We can find out what those unknown values are. Uh, you might want to pause the video here and just do it, uh, because you probably can. Um, otherwise, I'm going to start doing it right now. Um, okay, so I just want to like turn this into something that looks more like that. So then I can get like... If that's A, I can turn this into a real component. And if that's B, I can turn another bit into an, an imaginary component. So, uh, using FOIL, I could say that this is equal to uh, 3x, um, 3yi. Uh, the inner component is um, 4xi. Remember that x and y are numbers, um, whereas the i is the imaginary component. Uh, and then finally, um, last, 4yi squared. Um, and now, I might even just, you know, I'll do one more line here. All right, so 3x plus 3yi plus 4xi. And that i squared is negative 1. So negative 1 times 4 is negative 4, negative 4y. All right, so very, very important here to understand that x and y are numbers. They can just be treated as numbers. So that's three times a number, which means that that's a real component. Um, that's negative four times a number, which means that that's a real component. All right, so I'm going to group them together. I'm going to say that 3x minus 4y, that's the real component of this. And then this is my imaginary component number times a number times i plus a number times a number times i all right um plus 3yi plus 4xi and i should have been doing this all along i suppose equals 29 plus 22i 29 plus 22i 29 plus 22i okay what does that mean well a, the real component, 29, has to equal that. And the, I wish I had another color, the imaginary component has to equal that. Which means, and you should be able to see this, I've got two equations now. I've got, uh, I can do therefore, 3x minus 4y equals... 29, and then I have 3yi plus 4xi equals uh, 22i. Now, because the, the, actually I'll write it down like that and then we'll, we'll deal with it in a minute. Uh, 3yi plus 4xi equals 22i. Now, it almost looks like a simultaneous equation. The only problem is that there's like, two unknowns here and there's like a two unknowns the x and the y but there's also those i's that seem to be getting in the way um but i could rewrite that as i times 3y plus 4x taking i out as a common factor i can call that 22i and then i can divide both sides by i and i have a nice little equation 3y plus 4x equals 22. Uh, now, that means I have one equation here. I have a second equation here with unknown y's and unknown x's. All I need to do now is solve them simultaneously. Uh, it looks like it's probably going to be easiest if I use um, elimination. So I'm going to do that. Uh, but you've solved simultaneous equations before, so I'm not going to talk you through it. I'm just going to do it.
Okay, so I have two answers. I have y equals negative 2. I have x equals 7. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident about that. I can check it by putting negative 2 back here and putting 7 uh, here. Sorry, y negative 2 here, 7 here. And calculating it and seeing if it spits out the right number for me. Um, I'm confident. I'm not going to put it back in there. But you should. I'm going to put a little note here. Check it by putting it back in there. All right. Uh, that's equality of complex numbers.